texting and driving. However, lawmakers want to make sure that law can be enforced to the fullest. WNCT's Tamara Scott has more on a new bill aiming to find ways to keep you safe on the roads. A lot of times you'll you'll see them when you're riding down the road or actually um, got they're steering with their with their legs and they've got the, both hands going on the phone. Distracted driving. We're all guilty of it. Trying to eat while you're driving or put makeup on while you're driving. Or, uh, believe it or not, we've seen some trying to read while they're driving. Now NC lawmakers want to crack down on one of the most popular distracted driving methods, texting. With nearly 200 people killed last year in North Carolina alone due to distracted driving, law enforcement say whatever text you get on this phone can wait until you've parked. House Bill 558 aims to bring a study to improve the enforcement of texting and driving ban. Pitt County Sheriff's Office Lieutenant Kip Gaskin says it's not always easy to catch someone breaking the law. Sometimes it's not so cut and dry though because sometimes, you know, the law says no texting and driving. It doesn't say anything about using a, a phone. The proposed study would look at issues, resources, and surveys from other states as a reference. However, Gaskin says it's ultimately up to the driver to protect themselves and others around them. We've got to set an example as well for our children and not tell them not to do something that they see us do every day. You know, there's no, there's no phone call, no text that's so important that it can't wait until you get where you're going. In Greenville, Tamara Scott, 9 on your side. House Bill 558 is moving through the General Assembly. It has passed the first reading and has been referred to the Judiciary Committee. Governor